The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. From Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 221 pounds, And approaching the ring from the fifth dimension. There's the bell, and here we go. We're all along for the ride on this one, but make no mistake about it, we're going to have a winner. And now it's Stardust. As we watch Stardust, let's get your take on him. One of the most punishing finishers in WWE is Curtis Axel's Hangman Face Buster. Axel works over his opponent's neck and back the entire match and then executes this maneuver. It looks so gruesome that I'm always amazed Axel's opponents are able to get up from it when the match is over. That's someone who gets it. Someone who knows the value of hard work and dedication. The collar and elbow tie up in a battle for control here. Yeah, and Michael, it's so important to come out of this on top because you can do so many things to your opponent from this position. Collar and elbow tie up here. Uh, this is critical for a competitor in establishing themselves in the match. We've seen Curtis Axel utilize the DDT and perfect plex in the past as finishing moves. So what does that tell you about the power behind the hangman's face buster? Just take a look at what happens to an opponent's limp body after being on the receiving end of it. Yeah, Michael, the hangman's face buster is a brutal, brutal finisher. I mean, you can actually hear the skull of Axel's opponent hit the canvas. Seeing them laying there motionless on the mat is definitely a disturbing image, especially because Axel gloats about it afterwards. That's a classic textbook maneuver. Exactly the way it should be done. Wants to score big. Wow, he's still down after that. Watch it. To take a chance like that. Do you know how badly he must want to win this? King, I think it's safe to say that Cody Rhodes has lost his mind. Have you ever come across anybody as odd as Stardust? Yeah, of all the things he's ever lost, he misses his mind the most. I don't think, Cole, that I have ever seen anybody like Cody Rhodes. And of all the time we thought Goldust was the bizarre one, well, I guess it just runs in the family. One. Two. The shoulder's taking a beating here. Well, we're Three. on the move here. The range of emotions here is startling. There's almost an unknowing of what to expect. I know. I, I mean, I got goosebumps. This match is going to be so unpredictable. Six. I just can't wait. You know, you have to wonder what Dusty Rhodes thinks of his son Seven. just tossing the Rhodes name aside in favor of Stardust. He wants this battle decided inside the ring. And that's why he's such a great athlete, such a, an important superstar. The blunt force to the head right there might leave him down for good. It only takes a couple of those to bring his night to an end. We're looking at complete domination here. My God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. Man, I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs, the rolling neck snap. Oh my, the end is near. Did you hear the next step? Two. Ah, poor Dusty. He spent decades making the Rhodes name legendary, and here's Cody making a complete mockery of it. There's definitely facial damage. I just wonder if anything's broken. Yeah, he's gonna have a Roman nose. Gonna roam all over his face. Cole, what's he got in mind? Look at this. This could be it. Oh, incredible move 
by Stardust. Going for the cover. One, two. You have to wonder what's going through these guys' minds in a match of this magnitude. Can he do it? Can he dig down deep and fight out of this hold? No Stardust can be described as one of the most peculiar individuals we've ever seen in a WWE ring. Considering the more than 52 year history of this company, that's really saying something. We've seen this before. Stardust scores with a tremendous move. Now that's a finishing move. His shoulders are down. Tremendous victory! Oh, come on! That's enough! He's defenseless! He looks intent on humiliating and injuring his opponent. The rivalry between these two superstars is becoming dangerous as their bad history continues to grow. And approaching the ring, from Queens, New York, weighing in at 256 pounds. Based on the electricity that's traveling through this arena and decibel level of the crowd, I think it's safe to say the roof of this building just might blow off. He's simply reminding him that he's here. It's come down to a battle of attrition right now. Yeah, it could really go either way at this point. Man, what a struggle. It might be worth mentioning a little bit about Gage here. What hasn't been said already? Everybody's talking the unbelievable potential we're witnessing here. Let's just sit back and enjoy. Whoa, and a bit of a test of strength here. I love it. This is a good old-fashioned battle of power versus power. Thank you for spending your Monday night with us. After seeing what we have in store, I'm sure you won't be disappointed. If he keeps this up, this one will be over in no time. Uh oh. Why's well, the guy his opponent and what's he going for here? You're watching Raw, the longest running weekly episodic television program in history.
You can bet every superstar on the roster is crowded around the monitors in the back to see which one of these guys comes out victorious. What a powerful slam! Thank you for tuning into this episode of Raw. I'm sure you are just as entertained as we are here at ringside. Somehow, he's kicked it into another gear here tonight. Here we go. Gage got it. That might be enough to put this one away, Cole. The shoulders are down. And the shoulders up. And the match continues. I love this. He's got him hooked. A bone-jarring shoulder tackle there. Oh, that'll knock your legs right out from under you. He's looking to create some separation here. Looking to be in great physical condition here, almost impervious to pain. Talk about a target. The largest bullseye is always in someone's back. Yeah, that's bad. This is what makes him so dangerous. We're in the feeling out process. Who's going to get the advantage and maintain control? Your guess is as good as mine, Cole. Few superstars are as dominant as this guy. I don't know what size Colin Cassidy's shoes are, but I could. Is it enough to put an end to this one? Look at a catch him off guard. Quick round Two. count. And he breaks the cover, forcing the referee to stop the count. Well, that's just not enough to get the job done. Wearing down the opposition here. So damaging. What a display of power that was. Big Cass's boot is undoubtedly impressive, as is his elbow drop, which seemingly comes from the ceiling. He's so tall. Yeah, you want to stay low to avoid that big boot, but not so low that you can get hit with the elbow. Really, it's a no-win situation when you're in the ring with Colin Cassidy. injuries for sure. I'm not sure I can watch this. Uh-oh. Five. Six. Colin Cassidy, no problem getting out of that one. You don't want to get caught outside the ring for too long. What happened to you? You used to love being outside the ring. Eight. People have been wanting to see these guys go at it for a long time, and by the sound of this crowd, I think they're getting what they wanted. Of course, this great city of Atlanta was a longtime home of WCW prior to the company closing its doors in 2001. He's looking at it! Look at those eyes. He may be in the best. Whoa, check this 